Nothing to say about this one. Oh, oh we're talking about you. Yeah. It's a bit weird. Yeah. Let's <sighs> get it off the list. <laughs> so we're going to pull back the curtain a little bit here because we are talking a about the channel. Like, we, we don't listen at all to fan demand or any suggestions or requests. Not particularly. That we get in, but one that we have all been inundated with since we started Wiki Weekends was, did you know that you have a Wikipedia page? I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Why would anyone write that? I mean, apparently we do, and it's not a Wikipedia page, it's a wiki site, and it is the YouTube fandom wiki or something or other. Oh, you it's... haven't quite made it to Wikipedia yet. Yeah, but you can like, you know, do fan wikis, and it's yeah. apparently all about, like, you know, YouTubers. And I'm on there because apparently that's my life now. So you we're are going a YouTuber, Carl. So like so the thing we've been doing recently is like, you know, just thoughts on the topic of discussion and thoughts on the channel. I mean, on yeah. me. Because actually, no, yeah, because I'm the, I am the, that's the weirdest thing because I consider like the channel is just me. Yeah. But it's like a distinct entity that and it's, it's, it's really baffling and hard for me to, like, you know, comprehend talking about. So, Carl's going to be very confused. Yeah, I also as well really don't like talking about myself and I don't consider what we've done with the channel to be an achievement. And you can confirm that in day to day life, I don't like talking about what I do for a living. Oh yeah, like, because, you get very awkward as soon as you have to talk about yourself. Because I don't find it all that interesting or all that impressive, right? We struck gold in a copper mine. That's basically it. <laughs> It's like we, we like, you know, caught lightning in a bottle. It's like we somehow managed to like, you know, not earn the scorn of the algorithm. The Lucas, like, you can talk about the algorithm all day, I'm sure, can't you? And how it's like constantly I mean, fucking over smaller yeah. creators. <laughs> but like, I, I guess we're, talk, we're talking about the fact theme channel today. So, oh God, I forgot that that was the logo for it. My face said I like facts on it. <laughs> but the other backstory behind that was, we were trying to take like some, like in front of the green screen, in fact, like some, Photos. Oh, yeah. oh, we need some like you know some high quality decent images for like, like you know, headshots and promos and yeah, stuff. Yeah, in case like you know I need to present like you know a more professional image. And there was just one of me doing a really awkward smile of just, and I got that, and just Brad sent it to me on Messenger with just the words I like facts under it. And I just went, that's the logo for the channel now. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got so then someone did some sick fan art. Right, so apparently fact theme with Carl Smallwood um, is the style of entertainment and education. And we started on March 11th, 2017. I didn't know that. I don't Can know you that. confirm or I, not? I can't. Do you know what? I thought we'd be fact checking this today. And the first fact I've read, I don't fucking know. I don't remember when we started. Anyway, and then it has Twitter for everyone involved, but it has mine, Brad's, Nisha's, and not yours. Oh, well, fuck this. So then, clearly, <laughs> clearly someone needs to go. Uh, the thing is, though, someone's going to edit it and just like say, a lot of like, you know, nasty racist things about me, presumably, because apparently that's what people do. And then we've got other media, the website, my Instagram, my Twitch, Brad's Instagram, Nisha's Instagram, the official subreddit, uh, Brew Podcast and our merch. Nothing on there for Lucas. Lonely old Lucas oh. just sat in the back, even though he's part of like, you know, our newest, most popular series. So Carl Smallwood, better known online as Fact Fee. No, I'm not. We can talk about this, we can pull back the curtain here. Like, the reason the channel's called Fact Fiend is because the website's called Fact Fiend. Okay, yeah. And what the, what happened there is, um, I was writing for a site called Top Tens. So they've got a YouTube mm -hmm. channel, you can go check them yeah. out. And I was, while researching for them, discovered like little tidbits of facts that wouldn't make it into articles, or I thought were interesting enough to like, you know, just let people know, trying to like, you know, like spread my brand, I guess, mm -hmm. when I was like, you know, a struggling writer trying to like get my name out there. And one of the things I do is a fun fact for the day. Oh, okay, um, the yeah. editor of that um, that channel and that site, uh, well, Mr. Shell Harris, contacted me and said, "I really like this idea. Would you like to, uh, you know, expand it into its own website?" And I said, yeah, sure. So, as a favour to me, because he was a web designer by trade, he went out and he made me factfiend.com. And oh, the right. story behind Factfiend, the name, is because he just checked on like GoDaddy, okay, what URLs are available with the word fact in it. Saw that Factfiend was available. Thought, well, that's fairly good. That sounds about yeah, right. Yeah, like, you know, it rolls off the tongue. It's like, you know, it's alliterative, um, and that was it. I have no attachment to the Fact Fiend brand at all. I had no idea all no, that. No, that's mean, that, why, why, the first line here is I'm known as Fact Fiend. I'm not. One of the reasons that the channel went from being called Fact Fiend to Fact Fiend with Cal Smallwood is because I didn't want people to think I was a presenter for a larger thing, like, you know, Fact Fiend itself. It's like, no, I am 
the channel. It's like, funny as well because I write everything. It's all my ideas. It's all stuff. It's all my money that sets it up. I remember you saying as well. I don't want to be that guy where it's like. Oh, this is Fact Fiend. Yeah, I would never want the moment of I meet someone in a pub or they come up and go, Oh, Fact Fiend. No, it's car. It literally says it in the channel. Yeah. So, yeah, that's so. First line already wrong. Um, uh, are a YouTube duo. We're more than that anymore. Well, I can okay. see three of us in the fucking uh, room. Yeah, uh, who turn articles from the Fact Fiend website into videos. After they finish the main story of the video, um, he is well known. So they've already gone from they are to we are. So. Some grammar checks need to be done on this. So if anyone out there wants to go out, you know, correct these mistakes using me, like you can easily got a source, just link to this fucking video. Um, he is well known for his tangents, which are usually stories he talks about with Brad, which are related to the main video. And this stuff now. Um, many of the videos feature Carl drinking during the videos, though he usually strays off topic after drinking. I've, we probably should be drinking. Oh, this is a fact theme video. <laughs> like, it's really like, oh wait a minute. Um, Uh, one sec. Uh, got it. Yeah, this is the content people subscribe for right here, folks. Oh, God. That's it. My ass. The squats that I do. So, I've got a low-calorie Indian tonic water. Uh, so that's like that. So, uh, how you been? Yeah, yeah, good. Not bad, yeah. I love Indian tonic water. I mean, I was doing well until I realised that I'm not part of the Fat Fiend team. You're not, apparently. We'll, we'll discover that though, and then... Some, some gin. That'll do. That was very precisely <laughs> measured. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, yeah, the thing. So, cheers! <laughs> da, da, da. Um, although his channel was made on March 11th, 2017, again, I don't know, maybe it was. Um, of, on the month of May 2018, YouTube started heavily promoting his content, resulting in approximately an additional resulting in approximately an additional 70,000 subscribers from a figure of around 10,000 before May 2018. So did you know the story behind that? No. So we can talk about this, like, because I think we talked about it in the ill-fated brew podcast in the oh. very first episode. So okay. the story behind, like, why the channel got big is, I don't fucking know. Um, it was a, Nisha, do you remember the exact video? Yeah, it was the one about yeah, the, the, the simplest scene, looking scene in Hot, scene in Hot, Force, in Hot Force was the hardest. hardest to film. I'm sure people out there are like screaming out for not knowing the names of my own videos. And out of nowhere, that video just appeared on the front page of YouTube. Like, we weren't told. And this is something I will criticise YouTube for very heavily. They don't tell you when you're going to be like on the featured tab or mm. on the front page. Or so, even how to get there. Yeah, so like for a bigger YouTube, like, I guess for us, like, we still end up on there occasionally. But, mm. When you've got, like it says here, like 10,000 subs and suddenly you've got 200,000 people watching your video, that's a very big influx that you're not prepared for. Oh yeah. And it'd be very helpful if YouTube just sent you an email saying, oh, we're thinking about featuring you on the feature, like, you know, on the featured tab today. Maybe you should fucking prepare. Yeah, maybe you can like, you know, want to like put something on your channel. So we basically had to scramble that day. Yeah. That day that happened, we scrambled. So like, what the fuck? We've got like, we've got five times more subscribers than we had yesterday and we're still filming this shit in our bedroom. The fuck are we doing? And it's taken us a year and a half to play catch up. Now we've got an office, we've got a new microphone, I'm still drinking, I've got my big wangers, like, you know, officially licensed merch, I've got a business phone. I'm actually using a business today, so it's like, you know, taking photos of people's dogs, but yeah. Like, the story is we don't fucking know why the channel took off, but we're very grateful that it did. Because it's allowed me to help, like, several of my friends, like, seek gainful employment in a field they like, you know, would rather be in than the one they were in before. Yay! Yeah, so what was it you were doing before? Like, you know, I, I, I give that, I went, oh, Lucas, look at his coattails over here. And I said, space, look at that. Space right there for you, like, Lucas Holland, right there. Oh, his yeah. coattails, we're gonna lead you to YouTube success. You know, I, I was chucking chicken at people. Yeah, yeah, you Nando's. And what were you doing, Nisha? Sports Direct. I think Brad was working at Taco Bell, and I was still writing articles. For, like, I think, I was paid quite well, like, admittedly, like, $100. Mm -hmm but I was like getting absolutely no kudos for it. And then people were making a lot more money <laughs> off of my content than I was. And now I guess I can talk about myself in a video and people will watch it. So we've got here, this, probably the most, this is the most contentious part of this Wikipedia page, apparently. And this is the Fact Fiend crew. And it includes Carl Smallwood, obviously, Brad Rawlinson, Nisha Revel, Lucas Holland. Oh, there we go. Joshua Hall, who's appeared in two videos, I believe. And then that's it. Oh. Nisha, is your boyfriend or Mr. Adam Varley has something to say about that? Because he's appeared in like 20 videos. He was so pissed. I believe, like, the, he tweeted out 
that he's pissed off at this page, which is why I'm aware of it, because I follow oh, him on okay. Twitter, and I just saw the, the Fact Fiend Wicked Tubi page can fuck off. I'm like, why do you, what? Oh, he's not on it. So if someone can correct that, I would very much appreciate it, because he keeps complaining when we go to the pub. Oh, poor Adam. So now we get to the really funny part, and it's the trivia section. We don't often discuss behind the scenes stuff in videos, so I guess like a piece of trivia would be, we literally do not plan anything. Like, Lucas, you can confirm that when we're gonna do like a regular fact theme video, I put you on my computer that I use for editing and say, find an article you wanna talk about. Well, how we prepared for the wiki video today of, I showed you a list of words on my phone and went pick something. And I just picked, pointed to a few, and then we decided to do the fact theme one for the last one, because fuck it, it'd be funny. Because now the format's been established, we might as well talk about ourselves. Yeah. And it's really self masturbatory style. So uh, any trivia you want to drop off, things people might not expect about like, you know, how the channel operates when like, you know, the cameras aren't rolling. Yeah, people don't realise well it's the same green screen. We still oh, have yeah. people accusing, like, oh man, why did you get rid of the green screen? It's the same one. It's the same one that appeared in the very first video. There's only three videos on the channel that don't feature the original green screen, and that's when Brad, without my permission I will add, bought green screen wallpaper because it like keyed better. And I went, I looked at one video with it done, I don't like it, it looks too good. <laughs> I, I like how shit it looks with the original green screen, and then that's why we still use it. I, I like like the low, the lo-fi aesthetic of like, yeah. yeah. Something else people might not know as well is today is the first official day of having a second office chair. Yes it is, yeah. Well, previously we were sitting on like the broker sofa anyway. We were not telling people why we broke that sofa. That can be something that people can like ruminate about in their own heads. Anyway, so before gaining popularity, the channel used to have a Patreon page. This is true. Uh, however, due to the channel's surge in popularity, Carl shut down the Patreon since he had enough money to support the channel thanks to the money YouTube paid. That is true. We did have a uh, Patreon for a uh, couple of weeks, maybe a month or two. And I think one of the first people to subscribe to our Patreon Played like a hundred dollars a month, and like we had to give that back. Yeah, that's so a lot. I can't, in good conscience, take that amount of money from a fan. That's and a that lot guy like sent us a really nice email saying, "Oh, it's okay. I've got a good job, and I want to see you guys succeed." But like, even then, I, I can't take your money, mate. Fair enough. I yeah. just feel bad. Has any other YouTuber done that? Uh, I'm pretty sure most YouTubers have like hundred dollar tiers on their Patreon. Yeah. Has any other YouTuber said, "Oh, I get paid enough. I'm good." Just think about that for a moment. And go play Raid Shadow whatever. <laughs> yeah, fucking hell. Right. Carlos stated that many YouTubers played ads in the middle of their videos on purpose, so they had to press a button to do so. That is true. Um, YouTube literally has an option where you can insert a mid-break ad and it will usually do it automatically. Mm -hmm. um, I think the way it works is the algorithm will just find a part of the video where there is a lull in silence, which it oh, perceives okay. as a... Uh, at the end of a sentence or a breaking conversation and put an ad in there. But you do have the option to put one in manually. And I fucking hate when I watch a video and I've got an ad in the middle, so we have never done that on this channel, ever. So if you see one, you either have like spyware or adware on your thing, or it's like something YouTube's added, or the video mm -hmm. got copyright claimed and they add more ads on it. So I, thought, oh, I hate so much. So we've never yeah, done that Yeah, in the middle of the video it is. Yeah, so we only attractive. have one ad on every video and that's right at the very start. So originally, Brad wanted to crop out the corners that were visible in videos, this, yeah, this is true. Um, however, Carl thought it would be funny to make the videos look as bad as possible <laughs> and just stand in front of a green screen that they didn't actually use. This is 100% true. And now it's mostly just used for the sake of continuity. Uh, when he recorded a video, his green screen broke. This caused him to get a new green screen. That's not true. The green screen didn't break. As I mentioned, Brad bought new stuff without my permission and I made him bring the old green screen back. And if this thing breaks, I'll duct tape it to the wall. I don't care. Right, um, they used Photoshop to put the corners back in. We did do that. Um, however, Brad revealed in fact Fiend Raw, Vin Diesel's favourite beer sucks. This was only the first five or so videos with the old green screen being placed, and this is true, in front of the new green screen. <laughs> <laughs> so we put the old green screen in front of the new, better green screen, because I wanted the videos to look more shit. <laughs> do you know anyone else who actively campaigns against their own success as much as me? <laughs> It's like, so far this trivia section has been, Carl doesn't want your money and he makes his videos look shit on purpose. Um, he has also started his own company by the name of Big Wangers Incorporated and he's officially a CEO. I'm not a CEO because that's an American thing. I'm technically on paper a managing director, mm -hmm. which means if I want to, I can put the letters MD after my name, which I do when I'm sending emails or sending Christmas cards. So like my Christmas cards. I need to do that. I need to do Yeah, my Christmas cards are signed Carl Smallwood MD. <laughs> Just because my dad always like 
said to me, son, this YouTube thing's never gonna take off. Why don't you go be a teacher? So then you've got like, you know, a career with some options and then you have like, you know, like a position of authority and power. I'm like, no nah, dad, I'm an MD. <laughs> anyway, Carl's record for getting drunk is in the video. People used to think Rick Astley was black. We drank around 12 and a half shots of Jim Bean with honey. I also drank three beers before and finished off the rest of that bottle after recording because I was so ill. Uh, they are aware of this Wicker to be a page as, oh yeah, I think Brad mentioned it. Brad like, Googles the name of the channel all the time. Much like Adam does. Does he Google the channel all the time? The thing is though, that will wear off when you start getting negative ones. You stop giving a I shit. I don't even look at the YouTube channel. It's not worth You don't even watch the channel when you're on it. At the start, they would add in a like, comment and subscribe. Yeah, this is, this is also true. Um, like in the vein of like, you know, a normal YouTuber, which you've told me, even when done sarcastically, still gets more likes. It does, yeah. Uh, but we stopped doing it because we ran out of jokes. That's true. We literally ran out of jokes we could make about how obnoxious we can say the words like, comment, subscribe. He was born in 1991. I'm glad I don't know my birthday. Actually, my birthday, February 2nd, Groundhog Day. My birthday, February 2nd, Groundhog Day. And that's the last bit, and I really need to piss. So I don't know why I got this gin and tonic, so I'm gonna do my, my piss dance. So <laughs> Lucas, any thoughts before I run off to the fucking bathroom? And hopefully take off this mic so people can't hear me. Because we've done that before. That should be the Oh god. I, I really need it. Whew. Whew. Stop stroking your beard and say something. Alright, I'm going. <laughs>